Some people might say having a seven inch monitor on a camera that already probably has a small monitor is excessive. Why would somebody need to spend a thousand dollars on a seven inch monitor for their camera when they already have a monitor on their camera? Here's the reason. <clears throat> I wanna talk to you about monitors, camera monitors, why camera monitors are important, why we use them all the time. This one is exciting. This is one of the brightest monitors I've ever seen. Hello, Potato Jet. Your videos have given me many, many hours of entertainment, money well spent. I don't think we even need to use this like on cameras or anything. We could just watch Potato Jet on this. The colors are gorgeous. It's so bright and vivid. Besides the fact that this is freakishly bright, you can record ProRes onto it through your SDI or HDMI cable from your camera. Right now, this is, this is 2020 right now, early 2020 right now. As of today, Blackmagic tells us that this guy can record Blackmagic RAW straight from the C300 Mark II and a Panasonic camera called the EVA-1. That's it. In fact, if I was to try to record Blackmagic RAW from this straight from, let's say, the Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K G2, wouldn't work. The only cameras in the world that this can record RAW to right now, C300, Panasonic EVA-1. That's it. It's thick. Look at this. Look, look at this right here. This, this is a screen we use all the time. This is from Small HD, it's a seven inch, and it has a built-in Teradek, so we get wireless video from our camera. I love this as a director's monitor. It's pretty bright outside, this is a thousand nits, and I've been in bright sunlight and I've felt like, whoa, this is totally bright enough for me. So I'm very excited to use this at 2,500 nits. This, this is gonna be a beast outside. The thing is though, look at this. Th this one is thicker than this one, and this one has a Teradek in it. Um, also, this one's a lot heavier than our small HD screen. Uh, the bezels on the small HD screen are a lot smaller, but the bezels on this one are bigger and thick. Uh, they say this is made from aircraft grade aluminum, which I guess that means it's lightweight and strong, but it's still pretty heavy here. In true black magic design style, they have put a giant fan on the back and vents on the top. I can imagine if it's, you know, uh, a light wind or dust. This, this screen might not, uh, might not last in the most rugged of conditions, but it, I don't know, it, it's pretty rugged looking. But it's got vents all over it. Now, I'm assuming they had to do that because it's so bright. They have to cool it down with this fan. I wanna listen to it for a second. Some ASMR fan action here for you. Do you hear that at all? This takes Sony LPF batteries. The problem is it's 2,500 nits. So how long is a battery gonna last you? Like 20 minutes? You're gonna be having to switch out batteries constantly. And if you're filming to this too, if you're capturing ProRes, if this shuts out, you're done. I don't know why they would include a power cord that plugs into the wall with this thing when this is a camera monitor and so you'd wanna power this through your camera. So, what we ended up buying is a Sony LPF adapter. It's a dummy battery with a cable that runs to it that goes into our, that's D-tap, that goes into our V-mount battery in our camera. That way, we don't have to worry about all these extra batteries on this thing, and we can just run this on our main camera system battery. What an incredible name. This one's gonna stick. Blackmagic Design Video Assist 7-inch 12G SDI HDMI HDR Recording Monitor. Specs, this thing is seven inches, 1920 by 1200. Touch screen, LCD, it's 995 bucks. The five inch that looks exactly like this, except it only has one SD card slot, is uh, 795 bucks. HDMI and 12G SDI video input and outputs. I'm assuming that 12G is some kind of advanced SDI. This thing records UHD or DCI 4K, 10-bit, 422, ProRes or DNX HD encoding. There's built-in scopes, up to 2160p recording, USB-C external disc recording, 
you can record an Apple ProRes, Avid DNX, and Blackmagic RAW. Two SD card slots so you can swap out any full cards even during recording. So check this out. Uh, the nits are variable, just right here. So if you're filming inside, boom. Oh, I don't need all that brightness. I don't want it to just suck all my battery power. Oh, I'm filming outside, boom, 2,500 nits. Also, if a client's gonna look at your screen and you want them to have an extra bit of contrast and, and saturation for them to look at, you can bump that up there. You know, or you can make it black and white really quick. There are tons of functions with this. You can't dial in the magenta or the cyan. You can't really change the color of this. So you have to kind of trust black magic when you're getting this, that the color's gonna be good. And I've gotta say, just from my eyes, I think the color's good. From the people who make color grading software, this monitor looks pretty accurate to me. You don't even have to use the internal capabilities of your camera anymore. You can record straight to this with SD cards. I actually have an SD card in here right now and I loaded Potato Jet onto it. There's two SD card slots here and you can monitor sound from this. There's a headphone jack and a remote. You can remotely control this. You can uh, attach it to your camera so you can start and stop and it automatically starts this. If your camera doesn't have XLR inputs, now you've got two mini XLR inputs. And you've got an SDI in, an SDI out, and a HDMI in and HDMI out. And on the bottom here, you can record straight to a hard drive from their monitor. Okay, here's some things I really wish they would have done. I like it when my SDI inputs are on the back in the middle. That way I don't have to reach around one of the sides and have it poke out the side. We didn't buy this monitor just because of the recording capabilities. We didn't actually really need an external recorder. We bought this because it's bright, super bright, and it's from Blackmagic, a company that we kind of trust. If you don't like lugging around a bunch of weight, pass. But if you're fine with that, then you might wanna get it. If you aren't subscribed to Potato Jet yet, please unsubscribe from this channel and subscribe to him, because he rocks. In fact, I bet if you watched his videos instead of mine, you wouldn't be missing out on anything. 